Over the last few years, we've been flooded by the Marvel series. Well-known superheroes and cult favorites have appeared in practically every area of television. Much of this is due to the rise of streaming platforms, as well as the fact that, until recently, multiple film companies were creating Marvel series due to certain ancient license agreements that predate Disney ownership. Here are the top 10 times when MCU shows were good. But before we get started, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 10 Jessica Jones 2015 to 2019 Jessica Jones has the mixed blessing of a fantastic first season with an almost invincible enemy in Kilgrave, to the point where people kill each other or themselves at his simple spoken command. Kristen Ritter delivers a constantly layered portrayal as the titular character, a detective attempting to overlook the deep traumas Kilgrave inflicted on her in the past. Jessica Jones, on the other hand, suffers from the way its second and third seasons lose focus, suspense, and personal stakes in comparison. Still, the first season is worth seeing. It's a street-level superhero series, a crime procedural, and a personal story about abuse and recovery all rolled into one. Number 9 Hawkeye 2021 Hawkeye feels abnormally modest and low-key with minimal aims and a significant lack of original unique components, following other more dynamic series dealing with the same concerns. It borrows a little energy from Black Widow and a villain from Netflix's Daredevil, but it largely feels like an attempt to establish a new hero and MCUify some other minor Marvel Comics obscurities. Number 8 Loki 2021 Loki appears to be on his way to the top of the rankings as the series nears its conclusion. Season 1 is a mind-bending swirl through game-changing series of reveals for the MCU and especially for Loki, who has gone through so many changes in the movies over a decade. Tom Hiddleston is a star in the MCU, an expressive, energetic presence who would elevate the series regardless. Number 7 Moon Knight 2022 Moon Knight on Disney Plus was designed to fail in every way. Some fans were skeptical about Oscar Isaac's casting from the start. Isaac, who is of mixed Cuban and Guatemalan ancestry, was cast as Mark Spector, a Jewish character cloaked in Egyptian legend. With his several alter egos, such as Stephen Grant, Mark Spector is lured into a deadly mystery involving Egyptian gods. The show manages to handle all of this in a half dozen episodes and it treats Spectre's illness with dignity. Number 6. The Falcon and the Winter Soldier 2021 The Falcon and the Winter Soldier feel rushed and clunky at the end. It's a well-meaning story about a network of hidden super soldiers who may be dubbed terrorists or freedom fighters, depending on your point of view, but it's often just graceless. However, as a story about two guys dealing with the loss of their mentor and inspiration separately, each resenting the other for doing it incorrectly until they finally bond over what they learned from him. It's powerful and profound in a way that MCU storylines rarely are. Number 5 Ms. Marvel 2022 Ms. Marvel succeeded in making an origin narrative feel like a delight. Credit a variety of creative decisions, such as the show's vivid, into the Spider-Verse-esque visual identity, or the way it provides protagonist Kamala Khan a life outside of superhero. But some recognition should go to Iman Vellani, the true star at the core of it all. Whether she's facing a major threat or a big crush, she makes Kamala feel alive. Ms. Marvel is the all-too-rare MCU property that seems like it has the engine to run for a while in her hands. Number 4 Agent Carter 2015 to 2016 Whereas WandaVision investigates what happens when an enormously strong superhero loses the love of her life, Agent Carter reverses the script by delving into the same kind of grief, but this time is steeped in weakness. Following the events of Captain America, the first Avenger, Captain America's best friend Peggy Carter is mourning his presumed death while simultaneously attempting to continue as a hero in a world that increasingly rejects female heroes. Number 3 WandaVision 2021 WandaVision begins with the major heroine, Wanda Maximoff, in complete denial after she has built her sunny comedy world with a recreation of her deceased love, Vision. 
the series' creators play with that fictitious reality, hopping over decades of sitcom styles and generally having more fun with design, direction, and overall aesthetic than any other MCU show to date. One of the two most notable aspects of WandaVision is her ability to creatively explore her persona while being simply bizarre. The other is the series' emotional complexity, as Wanda deals with her fury, remorse, and selfishness on top of everything else. Number 2 Daredevil 2015-2018 Daredevil, the first of the Netflix MCU episodes, defined the venture's edgier, street-level tone while still seeming very much like a superhero story. The one-shot corridor fight sequence demonstrated that Marvel didn't need a movie-sized budget to create massive set pieces, while the battle between Daredevil and Bullseye, which weaponizes every random object discovered in a newsroom, is an odd blend of high stakes and whimsy. The performances, though, are much more impressive than the combats. Cox's portrayal of a hero driven by wrath and Catholic guilt as he attempts to make the world a better place both as a lawyer and as a vigilant, is completely convincing. Number 1 Jessica Jones, 2015-2019 It was truly a toss-up whether this program or Daredevil would take the top slot, but Jessica Jones' uncompromising portrayal of a woman coping with the after-effects of her attack made for harrowing entertainment. The one-shot corridor fight sequence demonstrated that Marvel didn't need a movie-sized budget to create massive set pieces while the battle between Daredevil and Bullseye, which weaponizes every random object discovered in a newsroom, is an odd blend of high stakes and whimsy. The performances, though, are much more impressive than the combats. Cox's portrayal of a hero driven by wrath and Catholic guilt as he attempts to make the world a better place, both as a lawyer and as a vigilant, is completely convincing. So guys, that was it for this video. What did you think about our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you are new to our channel, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell to get notified about our latest videos. Thanks for watching.